How about you? That's great, sure. I'm very sorry about my father. You know what I see? I see your father. He is an opera man, just like Ayatollah, and that is why I leave Persia. The Ayatollah, he's never happy unless everyone is upset all the time. You're a father. He has a bad case of uproar, but not so bad as the Ayatollah. Sorry. It just... It's always been such a nightmare. You love your father very much. Oh, I do. I don't know how I could. I mean, how could I possibly love this nutcase? And now he's dying, and I'm stuck with him. I mean, I'm stuck with him. This mess is my father forever and ever. He's never going to clean up his act. He's never going to get it together. He's never going to give me wisdom, comfort. And he wants something from me. Oh? Yeah. He wants me to call my mother. And she's going to refuse to come. And he knows it. He knows it. I swear, somewhere in there, he knows it. And it's going to break his heart anyway. <laughs> and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I can't. I just can't. We must make two talks. To your bravery my bravery <laughs> and to your grief to your grief your mother. I am here with Eve. She has too many worries. She should not have to pay. One ovary will pay for three cars and that will be the end of it. Oh, you don't have to do that. That accident was my fault. Fault is never the point. You are a very warm person. What makes me think you got this one from your father? And I never could seem to find the end. You know, sometimes it is necessary to disconnect. <laughs> 